Hey, I'm Jacob Beach with the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. We're here at SHOT 2017. I'm at the Condor Knife and Tool booth. They've got a lot of new stuff out this year, including they're starting to use 440C. And uh, so I'm really excited to see what they've got. And we're going to have Joe Flowers walk us through it. Stick around. Check it out. All right, you guys ready to keep up? Uh, the cameraman has informed me that he's very energetic right now, so I'm going to try and give him a, 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 a fun workout and, and get to some models that we haven't even talked to much yet. So come over here and see the Congo Spear. It's a uh, ash handle, Congo style spear, bilateral, so both sides are the same. Very good for all your spearing needs. You can throw it, you can chuck it, you can play with it. Um, you can probably do weeding, weeding with it or, or, or forage for wild edibles high up in a tree because I'm short. Uh, Viking axes, Valhalla axes. The Valhalla axe line is new this year. This is an interesting size. Not nor You don't normally see this size. It's great for all the, the battlements. I don't know if I'd throw it. Oh, I will try when I get home. But um, this is an in-house condor design with the etching on the sides. Laser etched. We have a smaller one over here. That's fantastic as well. It's, that's going to be a better thrower. On this side too, listen, we're a feedback based company. We, we try to listen to what our guys want down in the comments below. We, I read those at home a lot. Sometimes weep for the future, but that's okay. And I listen to a lot of the, the comments that people want to see later on. We listen to them as Condor. And now we're working with 440C. 440C stainless is a great great respectable steel it's been around forever which means there's a lot of information on it which means we can heat treat it a lot of different ways to get it to do what we want to and it still does not stay nearly as bad as some of these other steels with great edge retention so this is a mayflower design in 440c new this year this is a collaboration between myself and a wonderful knife maker charlie man let's walk over here People don't seem to really realize how, how long this, this particular axe is. This is not new, but this is new for 2016. It's an older model, but this is right along that 23-inch axe line. A lot of people are using the 23-inch axe sizes. Seem to be splitting a lot. Seem to be doing a lot more splitting than they are carving. So we uh, designed this with a heavier head, but still have this nice, nice taper for, for chopping. But it splits a lot better than some of the lighter axes that are out there with the 2.5 pound head. This is a cloudburst. Alan Kay won the series on TV called Alone. The first season he won with the HD Kukri, so we talked to him. Alan, this really big dude, he's like really tall and, and, and um, really, really positive. He's like, I'm going to tell you some of the changes I would have made even though I lived 56 days out with this model. He wanted my Carta. Got it. He wanted the Smashing Pommel. Got it. He wanted a Kydex sheet, so we tried to do a Kydex sheet that he would like and made sure that the KTAC Kukri, which is what this is called, new with this is called, new for this year, would be out and good to go. Yoshimi, this is a sword machete hybrid, comes with the Kydex sheet, new for 2017, 20 inch blade. It's a uh, katana style machete. And now let's see a uh, machete with a little bit of sword flavor that's kind of along the same route. This is a Makara, and it's really fun to swing this around YouTubers because they get scared um, really quickly, or anybody actually. You don't have to be a YouTuber. We're not biased here at all. Um, this is a machete first and a sword second, so it's very thin. It comes with a leather sheath. You can use it one-handed, or you can use it two-handed. You can kill zombies, kill um, whatever needs whatever needs to be done, such as pine trees or things like that. Um, and it's a really, really interesting uh, Japanese style. Uh, Matt Graham of Dual Survival and uh, also of Dude You're Screwed and uh, um, a couple of other different TV shows designed this particular knife. It's in the Primitive Survival series designed after um, the Masi tribes of Africa. Um, and sometimes I say that wrong, so that's okay. But uh, uh, the, the indigenous tribe in Africa uses a two-handed design and it's a fantastic primitive style knife with a pouch style sheet. It sits in there nice. Western style Bowie. This is new for 2017, comes with a leather sheet. We wanted to do a classic sheet design. We did a hollow grind after we saw some of the other grinds didn't look as nice. Um, welded integral, welded guard with a walnut handle and brass rivets. And then a tactical Bowie called the Operator Bowie. 
new for 2017 with the skeleton knife handle, smash and pommel. Now we have a lot of new designs out. We're not going to show you all of them. We're just going to show you some of the more interesting ones out there right now because uh, uh, if we did, we'd be here for like 20 minutes. So we're going to go over to the new Matt Graham, Matt Graham knives. Check some of them. He wanted to inspire people to go out and make bow drills. So he made a bow drill socket knife. The socket on top is probably the hardest part to carve on a bow drill, arguably. Um, and uh, uh, so this comes with a leather sheath cord that goes in there. If you decide, hey, I want to go work on my friction fire techniques, where I'm utilizing a piece of cordage to make a fire with two or three pieces of, uh, of rope and tender material, um, this is the knife you want to use comes with the handhold divot. You can sit there and do a bow drill. If you don't know what a bow drill is, Google it and you can kind of see the process. This would be the top, this goes in your hand. It makes it like in five seconds you can get a cold because you have no no uh, uh, friction. Um, friction on there. This is one of his, another knife out of his Primitive Survival Series. It's kind of a Puko bilateral hybrid. It has the same handle as the Masai style over there and the leather sheath. Also available, I haven't told you guys the names yet because we're still deciding on some of the names and I'm really bad at names and get everything confused. So this is another point down the center line, primitive style knife designed by Matt Graham. You can check out the sheet that he's designed with this to not bounce around. He doesn't want the knife to bounce around while he's walking, while he's running. So you can put it inside your belt loops and have a quick run while you're going out there. The Desert Romper is the uh, new version of the Swamp Romper. This was designed by uh, myself last year. We came out with this. It was pretty popular. So now we have a Micarta version, more for the desert. comes with the leather sheath. The Jungle Low, Philippine-style bolo. It's hard to get those out there, man. You have to go on eBay and it costs $50 just to get it shipped over from Indonesia. Now this is a uh, uh, norm, comes from a hand-forged, design. This isn't hand forged, it's made the same way most of our other Condor knives are made, which is with tender love and care. Um, it has a recurve on it and a large toothy, large convex edge. It comes with a Kydex sheath and is made for Philippine survival style um, uh, environments, but you can use it everywhere. It's probably happy up in Africa or, or down in Alaska, or up in Alaska, down in Africa, anywhere you need to use your chopping. finish it out, the Primitive Sequoia Knife, designed by Matt Graham. It is a thin blade, lightweight, chopping style, large knife, um, can be used out in the camp and out in the wild very, very easily. You can see the etching and embellishment that he put on there um, that's common to find on some of the rock petroglyphs that are out in his area. Very cool etching style. It comes from one of his old machete blades that he's used a lot out in desert survival situations. And so we have that new available this year. All of these and more of our new um, new line can be found on www.condortk.com, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, you know how it works. All of those, Condor Tool and Knives. Come give it a like, give us a shout out on Facebook and tell us what you think. Hope to see you guys around. I'm Joe Flowers with Condor Tool and Knife and hope to see you guys soon. All right, guys, so I got to say, I'm super impressed with what Condor's put out this year. Uh, a lot of knives that look absolutely utilitarian. And as always, Condor will have probably one of the most competitive price points in the industry. So I'm going to have all of their information in the description box below. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to check Joe Flowers out. He's a great guy. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sure they'll be checking them as well. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you guys. Have a great day. Okay.